This lesson is about the angles of a triangle, and the beginning of this lesson, the first half, where we talk about the number of degrees in a triangle, might seem really simple. I am going to ask you to be more algebraic in your writing than we typically are, because we're getting you prepared for algebra, and we're also making our questions a little more complex. And then the second half of the um, worksheet is going to introduce a new concept to you, which hopefully when we maintain our algebra technique won't be that difficult. So the first thing that we have to differentiate is the difference between an interior angle and an exterior angle. Now we talked about those in the last lesson, interior is inside, exterior is outside, so we can very easily fill in the blanks. The angles inside a polygon are called interior angles. When the sides of a polygon are extended, and you'll see what the, I mean by that in a little bit, they um, create other angles, and the angles outside this polygon are adjacent. Remember, adjacent means next to. The interior angles are called exterior angles. So the outside angles are called exterior. So you, you already know that the sum of the degrees in any triangle is 180 degrees. How we can write that algebraically is by saying x plus y plus z equals 180. And x, y, and z are just representing the random angles of the triangle. And obviously there are three variables because a triangle has three angles. So I'm going to explain what I mean by being more algebraic with our writing. It may seem like overkill in the beginning, but you'll thank me later. So let's uh, find out the value of x. Now you could very easily do 180 minus these two, but like I said, I want us to be more algebraic. So we're going to write 32 plus 48 plus x equals 180. And so let's solve that like we did in chapter 1, where we drop a line down the equal sign, and we add our like terms, so that's going to be 80 plus x equals 180. Then you look for an inverse, which is minus 80, and so you get x equals 100 degrees. So very nice, done. All right, let's check out letter B. Letter B is where you might start to thank me because it has more variables and x plus 28 is an expression. Um, so it's a little more complex. Remember, this is 90. So let's write an equation. x plus 28 plus 90 plus x equals 180. So I'm just taking the three pieces that I see and making an equation. Same technique, drop a line, and let's combine terms. I have 2x plus 118 equals 180 minus 118. 2x equals uh, 62 and I fixed it because this looked like a 6, so in case you were wondering, it did say 180. And then divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 31. Now, what they didn't ask us for was the value of the angles. They just asked us for x. But x represents... 31 represents x. It doesn't represent the measure of the angles. It represents this is 31. But if I wanted to find the degrees in this angle, I would have to do 31 plus 28, which, if I wanted to, would be 59. So um, sometimes you have to make sure you read the directions. They might ask you to go back and find the other angles. Why don't you pause the video and try these two examples on your own, and when you're ready, I'll pop up the answers. Hopefully you got them correct, and what I did in this second example, because there were other angles as well, is I went in and I calculated these angles um, in addition to what they were asking just for practice. 
So now let's look at this other um, concept about triangles that you haven't seen before, and it has to do with the exterior angles. Now I said earlier that um, you can extend the side of a polygon and create this thing called an exterior angle. So the angle Z right here is representing the exterior angle. It's kind of like this angle right here is the exterior angle, the outside. And the rule about exterior angles is that it's equal to the two non-adjacent interior angles. So the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. And what I mean by that is that the measurement of Z is equal to the sum of these two angles. Now remember, non-adjacent means not touching. So the two angles that Z doesn't touch, which in this case is X and Y, it's going to be equal to their sum. If I was looking at a different exterior angle, I would be looking at two different interior angles. So um, this is just general, and it's only specific to these variables, but in this case, in this picture, we can say that x plus y equals z. The two angles that it doesn't touch, add them up, and that's what you've got. So let's try it in some examples. Now, I've kept it um, relatively simple with on the first one, and then we'll get more complex on the second. And again, we're going to use our algebra technique. We're not going to just punch it in our calculator. You know I don't like that. So I'm going to write it out, x equals 36 plus 72. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two angles that it doesn't touch. This angle right here, it's touching. So that would not be part of the formula. So obviously, just add up the two angles. You get x equals 108 degrees. OK, so pretty straightforward. But now I'll show you why I wanted us to be algebraic. Here's where all you mental calculators will get messed up. So let's write it out. 2a equals, because that's my exterior angle. And these are the two angles that it doesn't touch. It touches this angle, so that's why it's not mentioned. 80 plus a minus 5. So drop a line. And let's do variables on the left and numbers on the right. So all my numbers are on the right, um, but the a has to move over. So minus a. And I get uh, 1a, or just a, equals... And then 80 minus 5 is 75, so I'll just combine it right there. And then everything's on the side it belongs on, and A is 75. But, uh-oh, ha-ha, you got to read the direction. They don't want the value of the variable. They want the exterior angle measurement. So if A is 75, then 2 times 75 is going to be the answer. This is not the answer. 150 degrees is the answer. Don't go all the way through a question and then get it wrong because you were too lazy to go back and check the directions. That's very, very um, saddening as your teacher to see you do that. All right, so go for numbers three and four on your own. Um, pause the video and I'll put them up when you're ready. All right, how'd you do? I hope you wrote your equations properly, and if you have any questions, write them down and ask me in class.